<laughs> Some people in Europe had a spectacular view this morning if the clouds didn't get in the way. A total solar eclipse took place. The moon passed between the sun and the earth. But Charlie Daggett spent time with some disappointed sky gazers in London who only saw gray. Somewhere out there, a solar eclipse is taking place, but we've been fighting thick cloud for most of the morning, and I don't think I'll be needing my safety glasses. We've entered the peak of the eclipse. I have to say there's an eerie darkness that has descended on parts of the capital, and there's a buzz going through the crowd. If we were able to see what's going on above the clouds, we'd be seeing something like an 85% solar eclipse. The further north you go uh, through England and Scotland, that number increases. <laughs> One of the best places to see it is in the Faroe Islands. That's 200 miles north of the coast of Scotland, actually closer to Iceland, where there they'll be witnessing a 100% total solar eclipse. And what happens is the whole event takes about four hours, but the peak time is when the moon crosses in front of the sun and holds it there. That's about two and a half minutes that that total eclipse takes place, and they'll be lucky enough to watch it up there. Here in London, disappointing. They've waited 15 years for this to happen. Better news in the United States where total solar eclipse is expected in 2017. For CBS This Morning, I'm Charlie Daggett in London.